Welcome to Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We got a great show for you today. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Shakisha Jefferson. And you are with? Sigma Omega Omega, a chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Those are a lot of Greek letters. <laughs> yes, it is. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sigma Omega Omega. Yes. Got it. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. And we'll talk more about who you are, what you guys do in the community. Yes. Okay. Uh, once we get into the cooking part of this show. And if you've seen this show before, you know she has no idea what we're cooking today. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I have the ingredients cloaked mm -hmm. in the beach towel of deception. Okay. That's what we call it. And I'm going to so pull I can't it off. I go to the beach. When I, go <laughs> to the beach. <laughs> I wish. I wish we were going to the beach. So I'm going to pull off this and okay. let you take a look at the ingredients and try to guess what we're cooking today. Okay. You ready for this? No. <laughs> All right. Hmm. There we go. What do you think? All right. We have some ground sirloin. Mm -hmm. We have some pasta. Potatoes. Yep. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Something fancy. <laughs> and I'll give you a With hint. some Italian. We're going Italian. Very, very close. Oh. We are doing three recipes. Oh, okay. All right. So what we decided to do was, you got a lot of Greek letters. We're doing Greek food. <laughs> we're going Greek Duh. today. <laughs> I didn't think that. So we're going to okay. do uh, a Greek version of, sort of a Greek version of lasagna or okay. uh, penne uh, rotini, that kind of thing. Yum, yum. So we've got penne pasta. We're going to make right. pastizio, pastizio is what it's called. Okay. We have to make a bechamel sauce, which is pretty high. You know, fancy stuff. Right yeah, there. this will be the fancy. first time. This will be my first time making that. Okay. Uh, we're also going to do Greek potatoes. Okay. And for dessert, we're doing mini baklava. Ooh, I like those. Yes. Yes. Yum yum. <laughs> so we're going to get these recipes started uh -huh. in just a second, and we're going to talk about Alpha Kappa Alpha Sigma Omega Omega. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to cook our first dish, which is the pastizio. Okay. It's kind of like Greek lasagna, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I have to brown some ground beef uh, along with some diced onion. Okay. And while I'm cutting this onion up, I know you don't want to be close to me over here <laughs> and start crying like I'm probably going to do. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your organization, how you guys came to be, and, and what are the, some of the things that you guys do? Okay. All right, so um, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority was founded January 15th, um, 1908 at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. um, it was a young lady named Ethel Hedgeman Lau who had this great idea to start a sisterhood organization where women can be of service and build sisterhood among um, African-American women. Mm -hmm. And so she had a group of um, other ladies that came together and we have a total of um, the original founders are nine and then a total, we consider 20 founders uh -huh. that um, basically started the sorority and has kept it for over a hundred plus years. And so, um, that's who we are um, now in the local area of Douglasville, Georgia. We were founded um, December of 1990, and we were the first African-American organization here mm -hmm. to basically um, start serving our community local. And so we've been around for almost 30 years now, and we um, do various activities in the community. This dice in the money is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my first one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we, um, like we just this past weekend had an Easter egg hunt for the local community where the kids, well, they didn't get to hunt this year, but we do hold that annually where um, we give out Easter baskets. We also added like a health expo mm -hmm. where people can, um, you know, get their blood pressure checked or oh, learn cool. about different um health options here in the local community right and then we also you know support small businesses who would like to you know support people to buy their um items we also usually hold like a um backpack back to school blitz mm -hmm. where the kids are able to get book bags especially for those who families that have multiple kids and struggle with um 
you know, financial things. And right. We do all kind of great things to, you know, make sure Douglas com the Douglasville community is um, know we're here and to also um, just serve for the greater good and be a service to all mankind. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and you say doing service to know, you know, let Douglasville know that you're here. Yes. And there's a great way to, to know that you're here. You're pretty well known for your color scheme. Yes. And our, what is that? Our salmon pink and apple green. That is awesome. Yes. See that all over the place. Yes, you do. Uh, yes. License yes. plate covers and the, yes. the shirts and yes. all over the place. And that's we're a, taking a, over the schools in Douglas County. We have teachers and principals and um, I mean the mayor of the city of Douglasville is right. also a member of our organization too. So yeah. and then the city manager of our um, of the city of Douglasville is also a part of our organization. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you know, with pretty girls in pink and green. <laughs> there you go. It's a it's a huge organization, even just here in Douglas County and yes. Douglasville. Yes. And uh, we appreciate what you guys do. Well, thank you. Thank you. We love it. So I got this ground beef going over here. It's going to brown. We got uh, the onions in here. Once we get it browned, we're going to add a few more things to it. We will be adding. Uh, the garlic, we're gonna add some uh, ground cinnamon, mm. salt and pepper, and, and, then, and then we're gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. So this is kinda like, you know, with lasagna, you got a, you got a, a pasta sauce that you're gonna add. This is, this is what that is. And the thing that really makes it Greek is uh, the bechamel sauce, which typically is a French sauce, mm. but they do a Greek version. Okay. which adds eggs. Typically it's just butter and flour, which okay. is a roux. Mm -hmm. And then you add milk to make it creamy, salt and pepper. Gotcha. So sometimes All they right. season, it with, season it with different things. Mm -hmm. Give but uh, I yeah, we, we add the eggs to make it a Greek version of the sauce okay. and that'll go over the top. So we have it in layers. Now I kinda, I won't say I cheated, but I did some of the work prior to us filming that's so smart. yeah, I went ahead and I got the uh, the pasta cooked because that's not really an exciting thing. <laughs> cooked the pasta. I put in two tablespoons of melted butter and about a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. So it got melted with the the pasta. Okay. So you're ahead of the game. Yes, mm -hmm. and it is staying warm in the oven right now. All right. <laughs> it's waiting for our pasta sauce, gotcha. and then the bechamel. So this will take just a little bit to, to brown. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pot okay. and we will get the bechamel sauce going. There we go. And like I said, this will be a first for me. I'm gonna keep it kinda low. Don't want it to, to burn anything. Mm. All right, for the bechamel, we need a half a cup of butter, okay. which uh, one cup is two sticks, so obviously one stick is half a cup. Gotcha. <laughs> so we're going to use this whole thing. And if you would, I'll okay. get you to just chop this into smaller pieces, mm -hmm. and you can go ahead and put it in Want here. Want to use this knife? Yep, okay. that'll be fine. All right. And I'll stir this up. It's already starting to brown. The onions are starting to get soft. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of cooking? I do, I love cooking. Great. So now you're giving me new ideas yes. to get fancier. <laughs> so these are all cut up in smaller pieces. That can all go into there. Go in the pot. We're gonna melt that down. Okay. And we're gonna need two thirds a cup of the flour. Flour. So okay. I'm gonna give you a third of a cup and just put two of those in there. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me get this melted first. All right, I'm gonna grab a whisk. Okay. And we can go ahead and add that flour. All there. right, here we go. Mm. 
Okay. This is a classic roux with fat and flour. Okay, and then you said we're gonna have to add eggs. We are gonna add eggs mm -hmm. at the very end. Okay. Uh, what we wanna do is we're gonna put some salt and pepper in here. Pepper. And the salt is in here. Oh, okay. And the pepper is right here. So just a pinch of salt. Okay. And a little bit of black pepper. All right. A little bit more? A little bit more. All right. Awesome. I'm going to throw some black pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yay. Yeah. Right, We're cooking now. <laughs> Now we're going to slowly add some milk into here. Okay. So we're going to do a cup at a time. Okay. So you can grab that cup measure. One cup. Our ground beef is almost okay. ready. Okay. One. All right, let me get that incorporated. Now it says to use four cups. Uh, I looked at some other recipes mm -hmm. and it looked like that might be a little, make it too thin. So okay. we're probably going to start with a couple cups of, of the milk okay. and see where that gets us. Okay. All right, we can All add right. the second and one. Now that's two. All right, so we'll just right, hold we'll off and we'll right let there. this heat up mm -hmm. come to a boil. And while I'm still working on the pasta sauce okay. over here. I'm gonna get you a bowl. Uh-oh. <laughs> and we're gonna crack some eggs. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Just a couple. Just a couple of eggs. There we go. There we go. And I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic right. to our stuff over here, the meat. I use my daughter's old baby forks <laughs> for the garlic because it strains out the liquid and a oh. scoop like this is about equivalent to a clove. Okay. And it's calling for two cloves. There we Yum. go. Garlic. And if you want, you can use this whisk on the eggs. Okay. This is nice and heated through. I'm gonna open this up if I can find my can opener. Pour that in here. We're gonna need a little bit of cinnamon. Let's see, cinnamon. it wants half a teaspoon, which is just a little sprinkle probably. Okay. You just sprinkle a little in there. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That is perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes. All right. Sweet flavor. We'll just let this continue to, to heat up and thicken up a little bit. Looks like sloppy joes now. Mm -hmm. Get that handle out of the way. It's starting to smell really good too. It does smell yummy. Yum. All right. And then we're gonna add Let's get this sauce. Nice and incorporated. Yeah, it's thickening, thickening up mm -hmm. pretty good. You can see the difference right before our eyes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do yeah. another cup of milk because do we don't want more? it quite okay. that thick. All right. It's almost like mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. All right, we'll get that nice and incorporated. I'm going to turn the heat off on the pasta sauce because it's just about done. One of the things I like to do instead of messing with the knobs on the heat, if I'm doing something like this, is put it on, take it off. Okay. I do it when I'm making scrambled eggs too, because it starts to stick a little bit. You just yeah. pull it off the heat, 
continue to stir it up. That means people have to pay attention when they're cooking. Yeah, you know, <laughs> can't be on that phone texting. Yep. <laughs> Some more people burn food. Yep, exactly. <laughs> cooking is an art. Yeah, especially something like this, it's, it's a feel. You have to kind of see, you know, is this too thick or mm, it's going to thicken up once we put uh, egg in there as well. And one thing we are going to do when we do the eggs mm -hmm. is we're going to add this, a little bit of this to the eggs, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put it all in here. Okay. Because if we just put the eggs in here, they'll actually scramble. Oh, we so <laughs> we have to we have to temper them by putting a little bit of the hot liquid in there. Okay. Let's add bad. about a half a cup of milk to this. You want to do a half a cup? Okay. Another half. Yeah. And you just eyeball it with the big mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Okay. There we All go. Right. Nice. There we go. All right. That is almost ready. I'm going to turn the oven on okay. uh, from warm to 350. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go to 400 because we're going to be cooking something with that. Okay. The potatoes will go in there with that once okay. we get those prepared. This is looking really good. And I'm gonna grab, well, I'm just gonna use this to add some of this to okay. the egg. Good strategy, never thought about it. Mm. All right, so that's gonna heat up the eggs a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna whisk that yeah. around just a little bit. Yes, yes. Mm. Perfect. Okay. And then we can add that to the, All right. the rest. All right. There we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get this heated up some more. If it gets too thick, again, we can add some more milk. Add the half of our milk. <laughs> and the, the egg, again, it's, it's the Greek version of a bechamel sauce. Okay. It makes it a little more yellow. And some recipes will say just use the egg yolk. But this one just said use the whole wet. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. <laughs> All right. Our ingredients are ready. We're ready All to make right. this pasta. All right. So I'm going to push some of this out of the way. Okay. And we're going to put our layers together. All right. Grab the pasta out of here. Okay. Oh. There we go. It's looking good. Nice and warm. I'll handle this and I'll let okay. you pour the bechamel over. All right. Just try to go over nice and even. We can spread it out. I love using a big pan like this when I'm doing ground beef because mm -hmm. it lays more of the more of the beef hits the surface of the pan and it browns a lot quicker. Oh. That is a nice pot too. <laughs> yes. Very nice. I use it a lot. Quality. Okay. Cute. And it'll last forever, I'm yes. sure. Alright. And the bechamel, I'll let you pour over. Okay, I'll get out of the way. Probably okay. just be easier that way. Alrighty, here we I'm go. I'm gonna get a spatula. Nice and pretty. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's looking good already. And it didn't take us long. I mean, no. You know, I know you did pre-prep, but. But really, yeah. we could have done all of this mm -hmm. while the noodles, the noodles were cooking. Were cooking. Yep. They cooked for about 10 minutes or so. Yes. Nice Beautiful. Yes. This is one of the prettiest dishes I've ever <laughs> cooked. <laughs> what a pretty girl. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to get the rest of this You're out of here. Get the rest of it? Okay. Got the spatula. spatula. Very necessary when you're using thicker sauces like this. We don't want to waste any. We want all that goodness in there. Mm -hmm. yum, yum. And the last step, if you will open up that this bag oh, of okay. Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna sprinkle almost all of the bag over okay. the top. Yes. Oh, those cheese lovers will love this. Man, this is not on my diet. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while you can splurge. Ugh. Beautiful. All right. All right. That little corner right there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it some love too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice and spread out. I'm gonna cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil. Okay. And we will cook this on three, about 350 to 400 degrees covered for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna uncover it and cook for about 30 to 40 more minutes. Oh. We gotta make sure that egg gets cooked and everything incorporates. Mm -hmm. Now, when I when we uncover it after about 20 minutes, okay. that'll be about the time we're putting in our Greek tomato. Greek potatoes, not tomatoes. <laughs> so they'll cook together, mm -hmm. and then while that's all cooking, we'll get our mini baklava ready to go. Mm -hmm. And that will bake as well. Right. So I'm gonna get this in the oven, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, now we've got our pastizio in the oven cooking. Yes, we do. And it's got about 10 more minutes. That'll give us just enough time to get our potatoes ready. Uh, 10 minutes will be when the cover comes off. We'll put our potatoes in at the same time and we'll be off and cooking. All right, so what we need to do, I've already got the potatoes chopped up into large chunks mm -hmm. in our uh, baking dish. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to make the sauce or seasoning, whatever you want to call it, that's going to go over the top. Okay. I've got two-thirds a cup of water right mm -hmm. there if you, you want to pour that in. I can do that. And then we need a half a cup of oil, right. extra virgin olive oil, of course, okay. nice and Greek. <laughs> That is a half, so okay, just fill Okay, this is already up. a half. Fill okay. up. And if we need any more oil, I've got some, but that might be perfect. That'll work. That is close enough. <laughs> Put it in here? Right in there. Ah, oil and water. Oil and water. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think, like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then we need the juice of a lemon. Okay. So I'll do that. Okay. There we go. Try not to make a mess here. <laughs> We can probably get away with half. I don't want it to be too lemony. Okay. We'll save this for the next recipe. Gotcha. We need four cloves of garlic. So okay. if you want to just dish uh, four yeah. forkfuls of that. Garlic. You love garlic? I love well, then garlic. Then go for it. I love garlic too. <laughs> we got a lot of potatoes over here. This is about uh, three pounds of potatoes cut up. Okay. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Now you can't kiss nobody out no, there. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, not, not a first date night meal. <laughs> not at all. We're going to do uh, some dried oregano, about okay. two teaspoons, okay. which is about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we need some salt and pepper. Salt. To taste, mm. as they say. Let's do one more. Yeah. All right. And then the pepper, and I'll get something to stir it up with. All right. That's a nice, mm -hmm. I guess you could call nice. this a dressing. Mm -hmm. A dressing for the potatoes. That's gonna be yummy. Yes. All right, here we go. Nice and over the top here. We can mix all that up. Mm. It's, it's a nice little bath for the potatoes. I like that idea. Mm. See, that doesn't take long at all. And I'm actually, the the, uh, the foil isn't ready to come off of the pastizio yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the potatoes in because okay. I like to cook my potatoes until they're pretty soft. Okay. I don't want them to be crunchy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Mm -hmm. So we'll do this, we will reset, we'll come back to cook the mini baklava. Yay. And I can't wait for that, that's gonna be <laughs> some good stuff. Always good to have dessert. Yes, we'll be right back. <laughs>
I just took the cover off of the pastizio, so I'm gonna reset the timer for about 40 minutes, just so we know about how long everything's cooking. It's gonna be one of those ish times, you know, the potatoes may take shorter, longer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the pastizio will probably be ready in about 30 minutes. While that is going on, we're going to prepare our dessert, the mini baklava. Yes. I am excited about this. <laughs> now, what we have to do is melt some butter with some sugar, which right away you know it's going to be a good recipe. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some <laughs> cinnamon and some pecans and walnuts. That's going to go in here, get nice and golden and sweet and ready to roll. Gotcha. While I'm doing that, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you to open up our boxes of phyllo dough, okay. which are in the shape of little shells, like uh, muffin tins, essentially. Gotcha. And we'll take our filling that I'm cooking over here, put it in each one, okay. and cook them for about 10 or 11 minutes, and then add a nice little drop of honey on the top when it comes out. It's gonna be good. Yum, yum. All right, so I've got two cookie sheets okay. in case we need that much real estate. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the butter ready right. to go in here to my pot that's already heated up. Now you guys, I'm sure you, you need some money to do what you do. We do. How does that work? Yeah. You do fundraisers we and that type do. of thing? We do, we do fundraisers. We have, a, um, this year we have had a cotillion for um, high school juniors and seniors to participate. Uh -huh. And so, um, you know, we advertise that out to the community so they could support because we give out scholarships twice a year to, okay. um, um, in the spring we give out a scholarship to five seniors within um, Douglas County. And, uh, um, and then in the, fall we give out a book scholarship to anybody in college okay and so um yeah so we have to fundraise and then we just had a um we had our ivies and pearls event uh -huh. which was another like fancy party and we did a masquerade theme this year oh cool and so all the money raised will go back to the students our people are pursuing you know higher education right. in the college realm so yep that's we awesome. fundraise, we definitely fundraise. Now are those annual things that people can kind of put on their calendars or, or are they, uh, do you just come up with different stuff every year? Um, sometimes we do have things um, annually, but recently we've been kind of changing and just trying to get a pulse of um, when is the best time to host events, but we usually definitely do something at the top of every year. Uh -huh. um, and this year we just happen to have both of them in um, two months back to back. Okay. So yes, and if but people, we do have things annually though. If people want to find out what's going on with you guys or, or maybe there are some ladies out there who might qualify for your organization, mm -hmm. where can they get more information? We um, have a website, an active website that is um, definitely uploaded uh, with new information on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. It is www.sigmaomegaomega.com. Okay. And so on that website, we um, we have web. We basically have a webmaster who definitely updates our calendar, posts our events that we're having, um, advertise our scholarships, um, and just keeps us abreast. Um, I also, as the publicity chairman, I go to what's happening in Douglas County and upload mm -hmm. the, um, our events so people are in the community will be aware of what we do. Right. And so um, that's how we, we, we try to get the word out. We're on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You gotta do we, it. We do it all. Gotta do it. <laughs> and if we had younger people, we would definitely probably Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. One day. Or whatever new comes out. I'm sure there'll exactly. be new, new ways we'll be to, there. to be in touch with everyone. We would definitely be in the mix. <laughs> All right, I'm adding the, uh, the walnuts and the pecans to the sugar over here. It's a cup, right. cup each. This is the easy way to do baklava. Normally you would use sheets of phyllo dough mm -hmm, yeah. and layer it. Uh, that's a little more difficult to do. This is the easy way. We just 
uh, get these the nuts uh, nice and soaked in with the butter and sugar and cinnamon mix. Okay. We're gonna let them uh, brown a little bit, get nice and golden. And then we will fill each one of our cups with this mixture. Okay. Uh, and uh, again, it's gonna go in the oven at about 350 to 400 for about 10 or 11 minutes. When it comes out, everything else is gonna be ready to come out yeah. and we're gonna taste some of this stuff. Oh, we have to put the honey we on too. We gotta put the honey on there too. The yeah, on. when the potatoes come out, we'll put the feta cheese on. And when these guys come out, we're gonna put a drop of honey. Awesome. Yes, yum, yum. And, then we're and then we're gonna eat it. I'm ready. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so we got everything laid out and ready yeah. to roll. We uh, put our honey drops on our uh, mini baklava already. We've got our potatoes, our pastizio. The only thing left to add is a little bit of crumbled feta cheese to the potatoes, if you like. Okay. So I'm gonna add a little to mine. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit, a little bit, a bit of bread. Awesome. What do you wanna try first? Let's see, let's go potatoes and then. All right. All right. Hot, Phil. Yeah, hot. Mm hmm. Mm. I like the extra garlic. Yum, yum. <laughs> it's got that little hint of lemon. Might so add good. a little more salt. Yes, I'm sorry. yes. I love some potatoes. <laughs> She's having a moment. Sorry. I'm getting a little hungry. No, no. One more. So yeah, I think the potatoes are a winner. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy too, very easy to make. Yeah. So the next thing, I guess we'll try the pastizio. I'm with you, hold <laughs> She's on. busy, she is busy. I can While taste the lemon in that second yeah. bite right there. Okay, here we go. Cut off a little bit of the bechamel. I'm gonna be able to get everything. Sauce. There we go. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I'm with you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm. Creamy. I hope we're mm. making you hungry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, I haven't looked up yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can, we can eat all of it in just a minute. Mm -hmm. but we're just tasting right now. We gotta oh, taste. Yeah. We gotta taste these mini baklava. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab me one right uh, here. Which one is? Nice Let's and sticky see. with the honey. Good way to wrap that up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Real quick. There will not be any of those left. <laughs> Between us and the camera people, they're gonna mm -hmm. be gone. Yeah, those be are gone. Yum, yum. Oh, that's so good. That's delicious. Thank you so much for being on the show with me today, doing yeah, the fun. Greek food. Mm -hmm. For the Greek organization. That's right, that's <laughs> right. And again, if people want to get in touch with you, how do they do it? Um, you can Facebook us. We have a Facebook group, Sigma Omega Omega. We also do Instagram, Sigma Omega Omega. We also have um, a website, www.sigmaomega.com. Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you again. Thank you. I appreciate you. And thank you for watching this month. This has been Servings <laughs> Kitchen with a Cause. Remember, do something. Do something for your community. If it's not with these guys, get out there and do something for Douglas County. Join an organization. Donate. Whatever you can do. We appreciate it. And we'll see you next month. Yeah.